Okay, so you definitely want to take the um, <laughs> the poo. I, don't, I never know what to call. I never know what's the PC name for that. Deveining <laughs> intestinal tract. Thanks, Haley. <laughs> I mean, I just call it the poo shoot. So, but, you know, I don't know if that's very PC when you're making a food video, but whatever. It's the intestinal tract or the the poo shoot. Oh, this is a great video. Okay, new series. So we are going to be calling this one Marion makes restaurant things. Is that what I was supposed to do? It's only going to get worse from here on in. <laughs> if anyone has a better suggestion for a title, you feel free to comment. The whole idea is that there's a whole bunch of restaurants that I love in the world and a whole bunch of favorite dishes that I can't get to at the moment. So I want to be able to recreate them at home and I thought I would bring you along with me. Uh, so this very first episode is like one of my favorite sushi dishes in the whole world. It is from a restaurant in Bangkok called Isao and it's their very famous dragon sushi. It's so cute. It's like the happiest dragon you've ever seen. I am going to use it as inspiration today to make a dragon sushi which I've never done before. So it's either gonna be like one of those nailed it things or like it's gonna be horrible, but we'll see. <laughs> so I know that I kind of wanna have a tempera prawn situation going on, but I also wanna figure out how I wanna make the head of the dragon. I think that's really important. So my guy from the restaurant was like all cutesy and happy, but I kind of want a bit more of a, like a dragon kind of feeling. So some like cucumber, what is this? What is this called? Do you call it a mane for a dragon? <laughs> I want to make like a cucumber thing of that. All right, let's get down to it. Uh, the first thing we want to do, I think, is get our prawns done. So let's do the tempura prawns first of all. So I'm going to go in with um, like tempura flour. So pre-mixed um, tempura flour for this one. And I believe the packet instructions, even though I didn't cite them myself, <laughs> I believe the box said to just mix in some water. I'm going to go with some fizzy water though, because I always think with you know, any kind of crispy batter, fizzy is better. Um, this is really cold too, by the way, because you, you want the batter to be cold, everything cold before it hits the hot oil, and that way you get the really crispy. And kind of the idea with tempura as well, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit lumpy, a little lumpy kind of seems to create a bit more of that texture. Like this is like really lumpy, right? But that's cool. So it's just kind of like this lumpy, thin kind of batter. I think that should be good. What do you reckon, Dax? Looks good to me. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these prawns because they're so beautiful. Um, we are in uh, southeast Queensland here and these prawns are really famous. They're um, a prawn called Malulaba prawns and you really want a large prawn here. So that's what I'm going for. I've got some here that are already peeled, but I kind of want one with the tail attached at the end for my like dragon tail. <laughs> so in order to make the tempura prawn sit straighter, apparently we just make some little cuts in the bottom here. I've never done tempura prawns for sushi at home before. I mean, I've done tempura prawns, but not, not for sushi. So, I mean, the idea is that I want that to get really straight. Oil, I think, is hot now. I'm just gonna test that out by just dipping a wooden spoon in there. And see those like furious bubbles there? That means we're good to go. So that's nice and hot. All right, it's go time. I do love to fry things. Okay, I'm gonna see, I wanna see if this, I'm interested to see if this prawn is gonna stay straight. I mean, that's my biggest thing right now. Ooh, that batter's looking good. That looks, that looks good. So I'm kind of like sort of holding the prawn as long as I can to kind of keep it straight without cooking my finger. <laughs> oh, they're still curling up. Maybe I needed to keep the tails on, all of them. Let me hold, let me see what happens here. Is that straighter? Mm. Ooh, I love those little tempura bits. I want more of those. Crunchy tempura bits. Yum. Okay, let's have a look at what's going on in here. So I didn't, I still got like a curly prawn. All right, the tempura batter is looking really good though. So I'm happy with that. Not sure how I'm gonna deal with the curly prawn in my sushi though, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Is that what I was supposed to do? That's what I said on the internet. internet. Was I supposed to go lengthways? Should I try lengthways? Because I went crossways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I tried one. The tempura looks good though. Yeah, that is, that is nice. All right, so let's try. Okay, let's try lengthways. So cut through here lengthways. See, so there's going to be like a cutlet. Anyway, let's see how we go. 
Okay, this is lengthways. Let's have a look. I guess if I push down on it like that, it works better. It's more straight. I think we need a toothpick. I think the toothpick's gonna have to be the thing, right? To make it really straight, I reckon. All right, let's get toothpick. Let's go in with a toothpick. Are we gonna end up with like cucumber sushi rolls and a side of tempura prawns? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, now that is looking really straight, right? Okay, I think this is the go. This is the go, definitely. Sure. Just remember to take the toothpicks out. Okay, look at that. Much better. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's gonna work. Look at that. Ta da! Yes, that's perfect. All right, tempura prawn, step one, mastered. Okay, so tempura prawn is going in the filling. Now we wanna get going on the, I think we'll do the scales next before we start rolling anything. So let me clean up and we'll do the avocado scales. In the meantime, I get to eat one of these spare prawns because like, I'm not going to use those ones. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Yum, 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 yum. You guys want a prawn? Yeah. <laughs> Don't eat that one, that's my tail, that's my tail. Fantastic. <laughs> oh my God. That's a, mm. that's a good tempura. I'm oh really, really happy with that. All right, dragon scales is what we're doing next. So in my original photo, they did theirs with prawns on the top, but I'm gonna do tempura through the middle and then avocado on the top. So I think the key here is to be really like precise with this slicing. I just want really thin. I think that's thin enough. Oh yeah, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting going now. Okay, so I feel like I've given that my proper sort of precision type attention. Okay, scale's done. <laughs> right on cue. Right on cue. There's a construction site going on next door, so there might be a bit of like zzz going on throughout the video. Um, soz. I'm gonna get going on rolling the sushi, like the body of the dragon now, which is really exciting. So I've got my sushi mat. I'm gonna get some cling film down first of all. All right, so I've got my nori here as well. And what you generally wanna do with sushi, um, is take a look at the nori and have a look. One side will be more shiny than the other and I want that side down. So that side goes down. And I've got some sushi rice here. Now I do have a video on how to make sushi, sushi. <laughs> now I do have a video on how to make sushi rice. <laughs> And uh, do I have a video on how to speak properly? Maybe. Now I do have a video on how to make sushi rice, so check that one out. Uh, but what you do wanna do here is make sure your hands are nice and wet. Um, otherwise you'll get too much rice sticking everywhere. And I don't mind if a little bit of water goes on here as well, kind of soften things up. Anyway, so I'm gonna get my rice going here. I really want a nice even layer. Like I feel like with this dragon, if we're gonna have any success, um, things need to be precise and neat and tidy, so. That's what we're going for. So this is actually gonna go on the outside of the sushi dragon body. So I'm gonna flip this over in a minute, but, cause even though it's a bit cutesy, like I still want this to be a really good piece of sushi to eat. So I don't want this to be too bulky. I want a, a nice dainty little mouthful. So what am, what's gonna happen with that bit? Is that gonna roll under? I don't, I don't wanna make it too big. Let's see how we go. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna put some sesame seeds on here because I like that, that kind of color. All right, now I'm gonna flip this over. Oh wait, no, that was supposed to be on the other side. No? Yes, no. <laughs> I need to keep the cling film on the mat, that's what I need to do. And just pick up my sushi sheet and roll that over. Now that's, okay, we got it. Now, I feel like I want to cut this excess amount of nori off. I'm going to do that. I don't know if that's really like proper sushi making, but I don't know. I don't want that piece on there. All right, so here, this is where I'm going to make my filling happen. So I want, actually, so I'll go this guy first because it's going to be my dragon tail. So he's going to stick out there. And then I want these guys coming through here. Did you put the toothpicks out? <laughs> No, I did not. <laughs> Let's take the toothpicks out first before you roll the sushi. It's good to have friends while you're filming, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
So now we've got our prawns in there. Let's bring this all together. So, are we feeling good about this one, guys? <laughs> okay, so you want to give it a really good squeeze um, just to make sure everything's really nice and tight in there. And then let's have a look. Yeah, that's great. I am really happy with that. That's a really nice, perfect fold through there. There's not too much excess happening, like over this, this way. I'm really happy with that. I think that's good. Ta-da, that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> it's only gonna get worse from here on in. <laughs> so we have our beautiful little roll here, and now we wanna go in with the scales. So carefully lift that off here. Kind of wanna sort of fan these out, these avocado slices. I need to kind of drape them over here so they look like scales. <laughs> so, uh, looks very thick. So I do have this like nice fan, but it's like a double layer of avocado. Like it's just too, let me try again with this one. <laughs> do you have an idea, Hayley? <laughs> it's a double because the avocado is like curved over like this. Over, yeah, it's curved over, isn't it? Oh no, now I've just <laughs> Right, so you want the scales to go this way, yeah. not that way. Oh, you want, so, oh, that's what we there need. We go. That's what we need, yeah, okay. okay. So, okay, then I think that's looking good. Oh, here we go. I think we're onto something. So now that I've got my avocado on the top here, I'm going to get a little bit more cling film. And that goes on the top. Oh, I kind of wanted to leave a little nose, actually, so I might just do that for it. Make my little dragon head. <sighs> I can already feel this. <laughs> Going unstuck at the edges. <laughs> All right, okay, so I'm gonna Put this down here and I want to just get my sushi mat and just press down on that. There we go. I think that kind of looks a bit scaly. That looks scaly, doesn't it? Oh, I know, I meant to, I, I meant to leave the plastic on while, while I sliced. And what you want to do between each slice is make sure your knife is really clean so you get a really nice cut through. I would definitely not get a job at sushi restaurant. It would take me all day to make like one person sushi. I definitely get customer complaints. Okay, so now we can take the plastic off. Oh, look at that cross section. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay, so I feel like my sushi is probably not like the most professional job, but I mean, it's holding in there. It's holding it, it's holding it pretty well. Okay, so, I mean, it's not a total disaster just yet. Like, I'm pretty happy with this guy so far. I don't quite have, like, the structural integrity of an amazing sushi chef, obviously, but I'm pretty happy for, like, a home job. All right, now I'm going to get to the decoration part because that's the really fun bit. So I've got some salmon caviar here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's, like, all of a sudden alive. <laughs> it's really cute. Okay, uh, all right, I need to stop being so happy with myself. <laughs> and I do want a little pupil in there, just like in my little reference photo. So I need one tiny little sesame seed. All right, now, um, frill, we need to do the frill. Okay, so I, we'll just give this a try, because I don't know. I think I want to cut this first, maybe in half. Okay, so. Is that like a frill? I think it looks great. <laughs> well, thank you, Dax. <laughs> I'm super stoked about it. <laughs> the lane's a bit out there, but... <laughs> the frill has got a bit of haywire. I think we can do... Let me... Let me all right, I think we can, we can do this better. Can do this better. Right, let me try again, let me try again. I think I'm, I'm yeah. I think I'm I'm happy with that. I think I think we'll go with that. Very exciting. Okay, so frills. Now, what do we need? We need like we need like some. What they're not antennas, are they? They're uh, <laughs> who knows the anatomy of a dragon? I don't know. But we need little things sticking out. Anyway, so I'm gonna use some of these pea shoots. Oh my god, this is so exciting. This is like the most fun thing I've ever made. He needs a smiley face because otherwise I don't want him I don't want him to be like, you know, scary dragon. We want friendly dragon. <laughs> don't laugh at me, Dax. We're loving it, you're laughing at the smiley oh, you're dragon. Laughing at the smile dragon. <laughs> 
Okay, so I think I want some spicy sauce on here as well, just for some like extra. And then a little sprinkle of sashimi togarashi. I just think that'll make it really nice through here. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh thanks guys <laughs> i mean yeah i was <laughs> it kind of like looks like it looks like a little kid's version of <laughs> a dragon sushi <laughs> i think this is a good interpretation of the amazing restaurant dish that i love and i'm super stoked with it he's happy dragon very nice that looks epic. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. <laughs> that is unreal. Well All right. So like first episode, Marion makes restaurant things. Uh, I'm going to give this a win. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's like the best sushi in the world, but I'm going to give it a win just on the cuteness. I mean, it's sort of, it's pretty cute. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys want to see any of your favorite restaurant dishes, can you please put them in the comments below? I want to know, uh, I want to make this a really cool series where we take your recommendations for restaurant dishes and we make them on the show. Um, all right, so I'm going to get in here and maybe just eat some sushi because like, you know, I like to do that. I like to eat things, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you liked that one. If you did, why not hit the like button and then also why not hit subscribe and that little bell button so you get a notification every time I release something else delicious. Thanks, bye.